What's up guys, Spets Ghost here. Um today, I mean, yes, I am doing something Roblox related, but I'm gonna tell you how to insert your own NPC character into a base plate. I mean, at first it sounds kinda tricky, but by the time you get this, it's actually kinda easy to do. So, um before we start, I need you to at least go down, drop a like. If you can hit one like, I I will appreciate that. So, um, alright, so before we start, you need to have your properties menu and your explorer menu open. So, um, after that, um, you need to have the, you have to go here, you, can, you have to click play or F5, because if you click run, it will not work. So, um, anyway, uh, for this to work, I advise you to use the R6 animations because with the R15 animations, try to like customize one join at a time, and that's pretty tricky. But I like to um, use this one instead of the uh, R15 animation. So what you do after that, um, you go right here where it says Workspace in your Explorer menu. You click on the arrow, and then you click on Player 1. That will highlight you. And since you're called player one, because that's what it's usually called, it'll be okay. So then after that, you right click, and then you go to copy. And then you already have the thing copied, so you can stop the game test. And then you can right click and paste it into the base plate, or you could push control V. And then after that, you can go here, right here, the arrow right there where you are player one. Um, basically what you do after that, um, make sure you, if you want it so you don't see player one in your health bar, you go to your humanoid thing, and then you have to go to your properties, and then you scroll down, and then you see where it says health, you type in zero, hit enter, and then do that with the max health, push zero, and then right click on where it says player one, which is the character's name, you click rename, like, I use the space bar to have no name, or you can um, uh, like just go in, type in whatever it is, and it'll act. What the frick is this doing? Here? Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so you don't need either your um, health, sound, or animate scripts because you don't really need them. And then after that you are free to go and you can edit whatever you want to edit um so here i'm gonna go ahead and edit mine real fast so there we go this is what the end result kind of looks like here let me edit this oh yeah i forgot to point out check make sure you have your move and rotate settings change to rotate if you want precise angles to five degrees or if you want to go all out you can go with um, zero degrees and like guess it yourself. I do the same with studs. So with zero studs, it depends all on your pixel movements. And I'll go ahead and move this upward a little bit. So uh, yeah, just thought about making this video for you guys wondering, dude, how do I insert my own character into a base plate? And also you can put you can do whatever you can. Oh yeah! By the way, if you want to keep your um, NP your character saying put, make sure you have it set to where you go to uh, model, or you can go to home. Make sure you click this button so it'll stay in place. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I just thought about making this tutorial just in case if you guys can't find what it is. So um, anyway, as I said. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.